June 17, 2022, Daily Devotion.
Matthew chapter 10, verse 42. And whoever gives one of these little ones even a cup of cold water, because he is a disciple, truly I say to you, he will by no means lose his reward. Kindness There isn't anyone who doesn't appreciate kindness and compassion. Even animals do. An animal scientist doctor based in Africa was studying different kinds of species. One day, someone brought a pelican with a fractured leg to his house. It was said that the pelican aggressively swooped down on a lady and snatched the fishes caught by her. To her surprise, the lady swung the paddle, which fractured the pelican's leg. Then the doctor took the bird in and cared for it with kindness until its fractured leg was healed. The doctor brought that bird to the pond area and set it free. However, the pelican refused to fly away. Instead, it followed the doctor back to the compound of his house. It stayed with him for the rest of its life. The same doctor also treated a wild boar whose leg was caught in a trap. And the same thing happened. He cared for the wild boar with kindness. And the boar's demeanor changed. From being wild, it was tamed. When he tries to set it free, it came back and stayed with him in his compound. Imagine having an aggressive pelican and a wild boar as your house guard, which will get you to sleep soundly every night. Kindness is defined as a quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. Mark Twain defined kindness as the language the blind can see and the deaf can hear. Kindness is also mentioned as a fruit of the Spirit. Being kind isn't the same as being nice. It goes beyond that. Kindness is based on your principles, values, and beliefs, while being nice is based on how others see you. A lady who everyone in her office says nice and polite, prim and proper, could scream at waiters and guards if she is not satisfied with the service, kick a dog at home, etc. A wise mentor gave me this advice. He said that outside appearances could be deceiving when it comes to finding a partner. You can know a person's character by how he or she treats waiters, guards, drivers, household helpers, people of lower status, and even pets. Do they treat them with kindness or with contempt? In the passage today, Jesus said, If anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of the least of my followers, you will surely be rewarded. Giving a cup of cold water is an act of kindness, an attitude of serving, and a form of going the extra mile for others. There is a promise, a reward for such a deed. In many instances, Jesus showed kindness to everyone who came to him. He showed kindness to Zacchaeus when he agreed to dine with him at his house. That kindness brought transformation to this tax collector's life that he promised to pay four times the amount if he had cheated anyone. He gave half of his possessions to the poor too. He was the same to the woman at the well, the woman who was stricken with sickness and touched Jesus' robe. Nicodemus, his disciple, and many instances when he healed people who came to him. And Jesus' great kindness manifested when he became our good shepherd, as we are all like lost sheep without a shepherd. If we follow in his footsteps and give others compassion and kindness, the world we live in will truly become better. Our world is a self-centered place. Selfies, me culture, my pleasure, my things, my life. Kindness through a gentle world will turn away wrath. Road rages, wars, and conflicts could be avoided. Walls may be broken down. Bridges may be built again. Relationships may be restored. People's lives will be influenced. The gospel will be shared and the Lord be glorified. A small gesture of appreciation, an act of service, a gentle pat on the back, 
a gentle way of communication, and the right words could lift someone else's spirit. All this can open the way for sharing Christ. Sometimes we say a person is hopeless. We cannot reach him. He is a strong Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu, atheist. He is worldly and has too much anger and bitterness. How many times have we witnessed Christians showing compassion and kindness that enabled other people to know Christ? The wild nature of the pelican and the boar changed because of the doctor's kindness and care. Through prayers, compassion, and kindness, people's lives can be transformed. Reflection Love and kindness are never wasted. They always make a difference. They bless the one who receives them, and they bless you who gives as well. Show kindness instead of being indifferent. People don't care how much you know but they would respond if they know how much you care. Prayer Lord, fill me with your love. Please give me your eyes of compassion that I may see people as Jesus sees us, sheep without a shepherd. Please help me go out of my way to show kindness to others so that your glory may be seen in me as I seek to follow you faithfully. In Jesus' name, amen.